right after I committed to Boomer, she put out that video, why not have a Galah? And it was all about Bandit like dive bombing her and attacking her. And my husband's looking at me going, what the hell have we done? And I'm like, I don't know. I have a African Gray who's 22 years old. He had some behavioral issues. You know, we had some biting, a little bit of biting, not a lot, but just refusing to step up or refusing to step down a lot of the times was more of the problem. Just a few other things that were going on. So I bought the Skype consult and did two of those with them with Reggie is the African Gray. It was fantastic. Like it changed my relationship with him overnight. And I have a little green cheek conure. She's very bitey. Changing things up to permission-based training, it was like she finally was like, you're speaking my language. And now she's a sweet bird. Dave um, had me watch the hormones course for Boomer. Boomer's a baby, so he's not hormonal yet. But there were things that Dave saw when he came to my house for the home consult for him that he recognize that needed to be changed so I watched that and it, that has been the biggest game changer from the beginning of all of this that's fixed my relationship with all three of my birds overnight like and they're more rested and my I have my house back in the evenings I don't have to tiptoe around and try not to wake up the birds that video was amazing and not just for birds that are hormonal but every bird owner should watch that video And then you start with this at all, or yeah, yeah. warm him up, and then he's very likely to get an exploratory. So in Phoenix, when he just kind of went and kept, uh -huh. kept going, he couldn't figure out the wind. Or here, when he passed you, he was still trying to figure out that wind. But because we're in such a big open space, he's able to figure it out. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good job, buddy. <laughs> we'll do it again? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just going to do A to B, but yeah. I'm just like crying like a baby right now. Makeup running already? I didn't put makeup on. I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs>
hard to describe. It was very emotional, very, very emotional. It was very cool. Made all the hard work worth it, for sure. Yeah, lots of tears, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I tend to get sappy quickly. And now the wind is like making me keep tearing, so I'm not actually still crying, but. <laughs> Boomer was awesome. Yes, you were, you were awesome. Got lots of, lots of flying and circling around and coming back each time. It was awesome, it was oh, very exciting. The first flight, it was emotional, but it, it yeah, that was, the first flight was amazing. That was awesome. It's, I can't even put into words what that felt like. It was amazing. Thank you, Dave and Jamie. Thank you so much. I'm gonna start crying again. <laughs> Stop it. Seeing other birds do it on video and YouTube and even in person, it's like, you know, been to bird shows and stuff and seen it. It's nothing like the feeling of, some, of seeing it with, a bird that you bonded with and that you love and and I guess that you know back to that what is that quote you know if some about setting something free and if it comes back and so what a testimony to a bond there you know it just he came back <laughs> Yeah, just to see him up there celebrating and being a crazy galah and just doing what he's supposed to do and not, you know, sitting in a cage plucking his feathers, <laughs> you know. He's going to have the best life as long as I'm on this earth. So, and it feels good to do that. like a big crybaby. I'm just gonna be like, wah, the whole time. Did you put a little GPS on Boomer? Yesterday he flew a mile. His top speed was 37 miles per hour. That's amazing. He was having so much fun. all the way out here. He got 12 hours of sleep last night. Didn't have to get used to his GPS. He's used to his GPS now. It's becoming a normal thing for him. And so as soon as I got him out, he was ready to go and just did tons of exploratory and did exactly what he was supposed to do in circle. And, and he was being a character. It was awesome to watch. It was really cool. He, he had a little bit of trouble with it. It like threw him off balance, you know, because he's a smaller bird. Um, it, you know, he didn't like it. He'd hold his tail like way down, like it was weighted down with a rock or something. And, and he got a little angry. He's still a little mad at Jamie. <laughs> and, um, but he's getting better. This morning when we, we so we put the dummy on overnight um, so that he didn't have to go through that um, experience of having it feel weighted each time. And that worked wonders. So he wore it all night long and we just switched out the dummy with the real one this morning and it went really fast and it was easy to do and then he came out and got a treat and everything was fine. It's definitely an extra insurance policy and it just helps me relax for sure. And it's really cool to have the data to know how fast he flew and how long he flew. So he doubled his flight time this morning from his first day and that's cool to know. They're always there for any questions that you have with answers and picking up on things that I didn't even think about asking. You know, they're just, their instincts are awesome and they're wonderful. It's been fun.